Athletic Department, we welcome you to the Great Brazil Six County Tournament. This evening with number nine seed Piscataway Chiefs versus the number one seed St. Thomas and Wadjie Stroke. Today's contest is being conducted according to the rules of the NJSI. Here we are, here for the quarterfinals of the GMCs playing St. Thomas, the number one seed. We are ready for them. We've been practicing for this type of game since November. Very excited for the players. Uh, many of them have not played on this stage before, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they react. But um, I'm confident that they're going to do well and thrive, and hopefully a lot of good things is going to come out of this here. Today is probably um, one of the biggest games we've had in a long time here at the Scottaway. We worked for it. We put a lot of sweat and tears into it. Playing at St. Thomas is the number one seed. I don't think we're really concerned with that right now. We just want them to play well, play hard. Things will fall where they may. Mostly, hopefully, it'll be a victory today. Yeah, I'm just excited for the kids. Um, it's a big game, but no different than any other game. I try to keep it simple. If we play smart basketball, we play hard, we have fun, I know we'd be right there. Um, I know St. Thomas is a number one team. They only lost one game. But boys, I want you guys to know, if you're seeing this down the line, I believe in you guys. If you guys are going to win this game, just come out, stick to your fundamentals, believe in those things, and you guys will be fine. Are there any questions from anybody? Mm -hmm. Fellas, we've been waiting a long time for this. A long time. I told you this day was coming. Let's go get them. It's good out there, right? Tell you, brother. This is what life is all about. This is what it's all about here. Hey, baby, let's go make history. Let's go make history. You understand?
Trust me when I tell you, our last game against Old Bridge Thursday night, that thing is flowing all, 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 all around the county. And everybody's gonna know that uh, P Way want they want to go inside to their two bigs. What do you think, teams? Because I'm saying to myself, if I'm game planning against Piscataway, how would I play Piscataway? First thing I'm gonna say, well, they really don't shoot from the outside well. So maybe I'm gonna play zone and I'm gonna double and dribble team with uh, those two bigs, get the ball down low. And I'm gonna wait till they prove that they can hit the outside jump. Because I don't believe they, they can shoot. That would be my game plan, right there. I know you can shoot. 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 And I know you can shoot. I've seen it. But it doesn't mean if you don't do it in the game. <laughs> you can tell me you can shoot all you all. You're the best shooter in the world. But within those 32 minutes, when those guys with striped shirts are on the floor, when that clock is ticking, if you can't hit a jump shot doing that, that don't mean it, it, it means doing it. outside shot because anything we run one through five basically we should go two one two against their zone two one two pass the ball quickly if you have the outside shot you got to take it because they're so big and wide inside anything we run one 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 through six one through seven they no good I mean because they're so big and wide they're bigger guys with longer arms so they're playing the passing so you got to make them commit to you by attacking first, they gotta move. So they're playing the passing lane on purpose because they know you're trying to pass the ball. That's why they so hot. Carmen, you're doing a magnificent job inside block, blocking shots and being playing big inside. Super, super job. We have nothing to lose now. Nothing to lose at all. At this particular point, I don't, know, I don't even care about winning or losing. What I care about is us playing with heart now. Us playing with heart. That is the most important thing. And what type of fight what type of fight do we have in us?
listen, he called. to the number eight seed. They are the number one seed. They are the number four ranked team in the state. Some, sometimes your opponent is just bigger, stronger, and better than you. And um, I thought we had a good game plan. I, I thought that we knew what we wanted to do. Uh, we did not always do what we planned, but that's part of the game as well. That's part of the game as well. Good game, John. That was, that was crazy. Yeah. You stopped. What, like 20 points? Charges and block? Yeah. I'm telling you, John, you don't realize uh, what you did today. You know, I, just, I can't say enough how fantastic you played today. There's nobody on that court that outshines you. And it is what it is. It is what it is. It's not the end of, of the world. All of us are going to go home. All of us are going to have a nice dinner. And we're going to think about this game. And guess what? We're going to get better. I think there was a huge difference in the physicality of their team and our team. Um, but we played hard, so that's a good point, and, and we didn't stop. So my hat's off to the players, uh, but we got to continue to get better. We got to continue to fight and continue to chop.
Trust and believe. They saying we gonna beat those suburban boys. That's the mindset we had when we, when we played suburban. Mm -hmm. I'm from up north, so Irvington going back at them, that's just the meaning. That's the way of life. Correct. And, and I'm from New York. We just had no respect for New Jersey basketball. No, New Jersey basketball had no respect for New York. <laughs> So, Just man, the biggest concern I have right now is us matching their toughness because they're going to try to come out and pump us. From the moment we get off the bus, it's the toughness, it's the mental toughness of going in there and showing, establishing ourselves early. 